Hi, welcome to our third episode of the Brad and Sherry show. Yeah, the Brad and Sherry show. Thanks for checking <laughs> us out on YouTube and Instagram. And we even have a Brad and Sherry show Facebook page. Pinterest soon to come. Yeah, all the social meds, as the kids say. <laughs> So, Sherry, what's the big news? The big news is we bought the RV. Yeah, we bought the <laughs> RV. We got We're sitting the, in the RV. We got the Winnebago Access. We drove it home, and we actually, where did we park it, Sherry? Well, we parked it in front of our house to begin with. Yeah. Brad had to get out with some pruners and prune the tree in front of our house. Um, but now... It's in our driveway. Yeah, it took a couple of days to build up some uh, courage and do a lot of <laughs> measurements, really. A lot of measuring up, down, back, forth, sideways. And I figured out, hey, we can fit this thing in our driveway and save on uh, storage fees. You we can were, see the house behind us. There's our house. Yeah. Pretty we're, new blue. We're, packed in, <laughs> we're squeezed in here tight in the driveway. This is an old, 100-year-old house built in 1926. So it's got a little skinny driveway for a small little car. Anyway... We're happy to have it. And why did we get the Class C, Sherry? Why did we get this one out of uh, all the ones we looked at? We got this one because, well, I like this one, particular one because it's really clean. Um, it feels very contemporary. The wood is really nice. The decor is really nice. Not a lot of, mm -hmm. no changes really need to happen. Um, we're sitting on a real co comfy leather couch right now. Yeah, it's in great shape. It's a 2010. Uh-huh. Easy Easy to drive. Class C is a good size for um, <laughs> to drive, maybe. Yeah, Sherry got to drive. <laughs> stay, stay tuned. You can see Sherry driving the first time yeah. we caught the thrill, the excitement. <laughs> and what? how else did you feel when you first drove it? I felt like I didn't want to drive it. <laughs> I like I wanted you to do all the driving. A little bit scary. It's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. We, we went down to Swan Island, which is a big industrial area near us, and... Uh, and drove around a little bit. Yeah, it's good to get out. And we went down there on a Sunday when most of those businesses were closed up and practiced driving and backing up. That's a big thing in RVs is being able to back them up. What else did we do down there? We laughed a lot. We laughed a lot. Yeah, we still got we still got along. <laughs> I saw, yeah, there's a pillow or something I saw on uh, Amazon that said, forgive me for what I said when we were backing up the RV. And that's kind of like setting up a old school Christmas tree or something. If your marriage can survive that, then you know you're you're doing good. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We actually got along and no big fights, right? <laughs> so that's no good. No fights at all. No fights at all. Yeah, we still like each other. Okay. Why did we Why did we pick the Class C? This was a 2010. It was in great shape. Came with a two year extended warranty. It had an excellent owner, as we said in our previous video. The uh, guy and his wife and family that owned it they really took care of it <clears throat> they're really meticulous and they did a great job so they kept it in good shape and yeah. we like the ones that you can drive all in one <clears throat> yeah. without the trailer the separate and also class a's are pretty huge we looked at several we went around to some different dealerships what do you think of some of those dealerships well one of the first ones we went to was really creepy like all the <laughs> <laughs> every single it just felt really weird we got I'm kind of lame customer service and um, the every single RV we went into had a really bad smell and felt like yeah. there was so much we would need to, like it was, they were definitely used and no effort was made to fix them up. Mm -hmm. We went to another place um, that ha felt really clean and nice and they obviously did a good job fixing up the RVs, uh, making them presentable. But um, they also jacked the price way up. So the prices were um, way over. That's right. You can get online book. at the uh, NADA, N-A-D-A guides, and check out the value, kind of like a blue book for the cars, the Kelly yeah. Blue Book. <clears throat> yeah. And that has pretty good prices. So this one was right around priced where it should be, we felt like. Mm -hmm. On some of the lots, yeah, they bumped the price up ridiculous, like ten, twenty thousand 20000 above their uh, value on that NADA. How do you say that? Nada? Nada? Yeah. 
I don't Not know. No, whatever. Uh, on that guide, you can see what they're supposed to retail. It has like average retail and then high retail. And some of them were way too high. You know, and then also the dealerships have different philosophies. Sometimes they take them in on consignment. And they don't clean them up, which is kind of weird. Others clean them up really well. I think you should always have your vehicles clean, sparkling clean, help them sell. Just kind of like if you're selling a house, you want it to really pop. So you get the buyers interested. something new so we're gonna try the RV life <laughs> How did you feel sherry that first time you got behind the wheel of the big the big rig here yeah so i i've never driven something so big i well a lot of you know i have a tiny little um vw beetle right now that's really small and easy to park and maneuver um the biggest thing i've ever driven i think is the astro van that i had when we were, yeah uh, in the early 2000s so yeah it was weird just sitting up high and controlling something so big i think the highest i got was maybe 15 miles an hour. Um, yeah, it felt really fun and exciting though, uh, to be doing something different Yeah. and, uh, thinking about our next adventure, but it really did make me happy to drive it. Yeah. That's what this channel is all about is creating a life you love and trying new things and, um, uh, doing things you love, mm -hmm. getting out of your comfort zone and mm -hmm. doing something different. It doesn't have to be an RV. It could be painting or knitting or whatever you're into, but you have to take action right and take that first step and yeah. just get started so we decided to go for it we found a good deal um it was a great price the guy had just lowered the price actually five thousand we found it on craigslist and we took that first step and now we're off on a new adventure so that's sometimes the hardest thing right it's just taking that just getting going just, that first step and mm -hmm. getting going like your t-shirt says your donald duck t-shirt stop talking and start doing yeah the best way to get started is stop talking and start doing yeah <laughs>
We sure appreciate you watching our videos and being in touch with us. Please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video. Like us on... Why on should they subscribe? How does that help us? We need to get to 100 subscribers and then we can do some things to personalize our YouTube channel. Yeah, we can change the URL. So it's youtube.com slash the Brad and Sherry show. And we want to do that, but we need 100 <laughs> subscribers. They want to make sure you're legit. So we appreciate you subscribing to our channel. Share it with your friends and like us on all those social meds. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. I feel so young when I say social meds. Hey, what's the big news? Hold your... Okay. Hold, <laughs> hold, hold your...